Dean, another excellent result. What are your thoughts on that result? We're out being at our best and we're out like our cleanest. I thought uh, we deserved to win the game. Um, a little bit obviously look with the force goal is a handball I've just seen it there on the, on, on the TV. So from our point of view, I thought we played okay. But we, we still can improve on what we do. We need to be cleaner in possession at times. Really delighted with the second goal. I thought it was a brilliant goal. We set up that press, as something we spoke about. And uh, we penetrated it, so that's really pleasing. So all in all, look, a brilliant victory. Very tough to come to Bromley and win football matches. You know what I mean? And we've won it really in the end. We've won it quite well. Um, we a couple of bits of luck were in the game. I think we had the best chances were in the game. Idris had a glorious chance that he didn't take. Uh, Nicky had a, a chance where the goalie made a great save. Smith made a great save, uh, which was a glorious chance. I can't really remember them having a glorious chance. Up cheek while at the far post late in the game. Uh, that was sort of their best chance of the game. I know they hit the crossbar from sort of 40 yards as well in a, in a strike. So, But all in all, a really good victory. You mentioned in pre-season to Danny that he needed to add goals to his game. That's 2-2 two and two now for him. He's certainly living up to your expectations this season. The greatest thing with Danny is if you tell him to do something, he, he does it. He walks on his game. You know, Tuesday, the amount of work we did Tuesday, he was still out doing his extras. Uh, he's a real leader, he's turning into you know a real leader. We've got several of them now, uh, Pritchard, Danny Collins, Jerome Akimo, so <clears throat> delighted for him. Great little finish, wasn't it? I know we did, like I said, a bit of luck where it was instinctive, it dropped to him and he's hit it early, he's hit it clean. So, But that only comes, you only get results like that if you walk on your game and Danny's doing that, so we're delighted for him. And obviously our other goal, Nicky, a great ball from Zach Brunt to put through to Nicky and then another finish from him, two and two for him. Yeah, the most pleasing thing was the turnover. Our distances were good. We could press the ball. We could make contact in their defensive line and their attacking line. Um, I think it was Brunty that actually made the tackle and turned her over, was it? I'm sure, or maybe it was Marv. I think it was Marv made the tackle, turned her over. And then Brunty's obviously played a clever little ball, good little run from Nicky and a lovely finish. Not like the goalie, so that sort of sealed the game, really. Obviously, goals are great, but another clean sheet, or first clean sheet of the season today. Great for the defence and for the whole team. Listen, clean sheets bring you success. Usually, the team that has the most clean sheets in the division will be up there. Uh, they'll definitely be in the, sort of come the, uh, the back end of the season at the end of April. So, for us, it's something I harp on about all the time. When I've won a couple of titles as a manager, which I did at Hemel and Wheelstone, we had unbelievable clean sheet records. So, <clears throat> it's something we pride ourselves on. So, I know we play exciting football. We play on the front foot. Um, but everyone's involved in clean sheets. Even, like I say, the second goal was just perfect. You know, Ta a tackle from an attacking midfield player, obviously a creative player sliding it in. So massive to get clean sheets. So long may that continue. Uh, at half time, we saw Idris come off for Marv. What was the thinking behind that decision? Just the fact that the way the way the officiating is now for for the officials, it's a nightmare for them. They've got so many different things to think about. Um, I think Idris got tackled, and obviously got a yellow card, it was a tackle. I personally felt it was a yellow card because he run away from the defender through, through the back of their midfield. And then off the back of that, uh, Idris has obviously said something to the referee or whatever he's done, he's got booked for it. So, um, And then obviously he had another scenario where he made a late tackle twice. And I was thinking, and to be fair, at half time, their manager was going ape about getting them a second yellow card. So I just didn't want to take that risk. And I thought, Marv, come on and did a brilliant job for the team. Um, and I say to the lads, the most important players when, you, when you're creating a positive environment is the players that ain't playing. They have to be positive and they have to be ready and have to take the chance. And Marv trained brilliant this week and last weekend he wasn't even on the bench. Um, but I felt he out-trained Courtney this week. So when we're raising the bar, people have got to come along with it. And I thought he had a big impact on the game, Marv, with his power and his energy. So really pleased for him. Obviously, these new rules have come in from the FA this year about uh, dissent and yellow cards. As a manager, how does that for you? How you think your work way of thinking, uh, and obviously for the game, the tactics, when you've got to make these calls because of yellow cards? Yeah, look, it's frustrating. Uh, the, the biggest thing for us is, and I speak to all the managers about it, it's important we get five subs from seven now. It's something we have to make happen. You know, we're looking for leadership now from the National League. We've had this off Howard Webb and Steve Dunn, who I've spoke to via email, who's, who, who uh, controls it, the officials at air level. I thought the referee did pretty well today. I know he missed the handball. It was a tough one for him. Um, but I thought he did pretty well. I thought he was fair enough for the added on time. And uh, from from our point of view, we need to play our welfare. It's so important now. You know, We walked out. We played 56 games last year. If we play the added on time we did in the first game of the season, which was 16 and a half minutes in total, we'll basically play another 12, 14 games in total, added on. So you're looking at sort of 70 games in minutes. So I understand why it's been put in place and the clarity is really good. But to counter that, the National League need to now step up now at the board and make make this happen. We need to be able to, you know, whether we 
I don't know whether we all vote on it again and, and talk about it again, but we need to be able to have five subs from seven because this is just it's crazy. The players are going to be flogged. Um, and you'll have a lot of injuries this year. You'll have a lot of sendings off. I think it was five sendings off today in, in the division. Um, lots of yellow cards. I see that. I was seeing that earlier. So it's uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. But I think we've managed it quite well, personally. I think we've had we have a, we had Idris a yellow card today and Gorman last week. Anyone else get booked today? So. Yeah, it was something I did speak to Steve Dunn about and told him that, you know, it's very it's very important we respect, we respect the officials. This is what we're, everyone wants. So uh, I think we've done that in the first two games. So I'm proud, I'm proud of the players' discipline. There's lots of changes uh, this year with the rules, but one thing that hasn't changed, a great support away from home from the Bees, 204 supporters. What's your message to them tonight? Yeah, delighted for their supporters. We've come here now two years on the bounce and won, so... Um, <clears throat> delighted. Listen, they've got behind the lads, you know what I mean? They, they drove us through. I'm just delighted for them. They go home tonight. They're going to enjoy that weekend. But can't rest on the laurels. Be on the bus, and we'll be watching probably Eastleys game from today against. If they played Wheelstown, so we have to move on quick and move on to the next game. And hopefully, we can see as many of them as we can on on, uh, on Tuesday night down at uh, down at Eastleigh. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.